Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. Rimuru in DXD by Alex Kaur 360 Prologue Third Person Pod In the midst of a fight between the Grammary Peerage and the Cadre class fallen angel Kokabiel a disgraced Bishop Valpier Galilei was trying to use fragments of the Holy Sword Excalibur to blow up the city of Kuo. As the complex device to accomplish this started to power up something very unexpected happened, suddenly the white light that was being emitted from swords turned red and black, the ground around them also started to tremble and shake causing some of the weaker people present to stumble and fall. The first person to speak was Kokabiel. Valpier what the hell is going on? That is definitely not supposed to happen, can you fix it? The nervous bishop started frantically trying to fix the procedure he had set up, everyone else realized something went wrong and were preparing for even more trouble. Even if none of them knew what to expect they could all feel that whatever was about to happen was trouble. As the trembling increased the magic circle started to vibrate so much it sounded like a high pitch whistle, it was so loud everyone was forced to cover their ears. As the trembling and vibrations hit their peak reality in front of them seemed to crack like glass for a second before someone came tumbling out, then less than a second later the crack was gone and everything was silent. Everyone watched as the figure with long sky blue hair wearing almost all black with a small amount of white and gold stood up and brushed themselves off. The person would be described as beautiful if their face wasn't covered by an ornate white mask with some black lines surrounding a red gem in its center. Everyone watched as they slowly looked around before looking off into space, in reality the person was actually talking to their ultimate skill about where they ended up. Unfortunately the masked person was not very happy about what they found out and punched a tree, the tree was torn to splinters in one punch. Everyone present realized this person was not normal, this excited only one person the crazy fallen angel flying above like he owned the place. Who are you supposed to be? Did one of the Maos send you to keep me busy until they arrive? So be it, you must be strong since you interrupted that ritual. Perhaps you will be better entertainment than these weaklings. In response the masked figure completely ignored the speaker and started walking away, pretty much everyone was shocked as to what was going on, most of all the fallen who was pissed he was ignored. It seems like you are a scaredy pants too. Devils are all the same nowadays huh? All I want is a good war, after God died everyone has been being a bunch of pussies. Everyone there was shocked by that revelation except the mask figure who had no clue what was actually going on and just continued to walk away while discussing the new world he found himself in with his best friend. Seeing as his provocation to the new figure didn't work Kokabiel decided to take a more direct approach while the mad exorcist freed fought the devils and holy sword user present. As the masked figure continued to walk they suddenly stopped, at that moment a light lance flew past them and impaled itself into the ground in front of them. At that time the demon lord turned around and looked at the fallen angel with a blank look, not that as was visible through the mask. A second later they had a light spear between their fingers right in front of their face, everyone watching was surprised to see the person barehandedly catch it. They then ate the spear in their hands and waited a second. Holy attack huh? well not my business. They then turned back around and began walking again, this infuriated one person even more, they proceeded to make a very large light spear, similar to the one they used to blow up the gymnasium earlier. When he launched it the slowly disappearing person suddenly turned around and opened their hand. As soon as they did a whirlpool-like ability sprung to life and devoured the incoming attack. Then with an exasperated voice they responded. If you are going to keep attacking me I am going to have to return the favor, good luck. Then the demon lord stuck out his right hand while his aura started to surge forward, out of his hand shot black lightning straight towards the fallen angel. In response the fallen angel tried to block the strike but was still sent a few meters back by the force of it. Now that is an attack, come at me and entertain me. In response Rimuru started sending attacks at the fallen angel, he mostly shot black lightning with some torrents of black flame. The attacks were gradually getting harder to defend against. To an onlooker it is clear that the masked man is not even attempting to do anything fancy or skillful and is simply overpowering their opponent with brute strength. After a few minutes it was clear that Kokabiel was losing as he was slowly taking more and more damage as his opponent dodged or ate all of his attacks. Wanting to get the battle finished before anyone else shows up Rimuru decided to try one of the abilities he created with Raphael over the past year. 
He paused his other attacks and shot a large bolt of red lightning. Unlike the other bolts that were blocked this one was able to be dodged. Kokabiel could clearly see that the last attack was much different than the rest, and significantly more dangerous. As he prepared for another attack he missed the slight noise coming from behind him. Everyone else was watching now that the other battles were done as the red lightning stopped mid-air a few dozens feet behind the fallen angel and started crackling. After a few seconds the night sky lit up as crimson lightning started falling all over the place. However they all landed where the first bolt Rimuru threw was floating. The barrier around the school shattered as the red lightning started getting out of control, just as it was reaching a critical point it zipped back towards the caster's hand like some kind of lightning boomerang. The lightning returning was over 20x bigger and stronger as all the charged up energy arced back into Rimuru's hand. Unfortunately Kokabiel was in the return path and was hit by the full brunt of the newly created, demon lightning. As the spell ended to Rimuru's surprise his body was still there, he was badly burnt and not breathing but his body hadn't been incinerated to his surprise. The onlookers were shocked that a Kadri class fallen angel and survivor of the Great War was beaten so heartily, as for Rimuru he walked up to the burnt body and devoured it with Beelzebub. As Rimuru was hearing about his new light and holy based abilities he acquired someone clad in white armor descended from the sky, his entrance and appearance drew attention from everyone except our favorite demon lord. The person to speak was Rias Gremory. Who are you? Why are you here? The figure responded while starring at Rimuru. I came here to retrieve Kokabiel but it seems like someone else took care of that. Who are you anyway masked girl? Your spell was very impressive to be able to kill a Kadri class fallen angel like that, I want to fight people who are strong like you. After looking blankly at the person in armor Rimuru launched his demon lightning at the white dragon emperor, in response a draconic voice was heard. Divide. Divide. Slowly the bolt of red lightning faded into a small spark that harmlessly hit the armor, in response Rimuru responded before starting to walk away. It appears I am weak after my last fight, if you want to fight then save it for later, I need to go to sleep. Instead of charging in to attack a weakened opponent the armor man respected their wishes and asked one last question. Fine, but how will I find you in the future, it doesn't seem like anyone here knows you so tell me who you are and what faction you are a part of. In response Rimuru kept walking away and gave a curt response. You won't find me unless I want to be found, I am sure we will cross paths one day. Before anyone could argue a bright light flashed and the demon lord was nowhere to be found. Contrary to what everyone thought Rimuru didn't actually teleport away, even if Raphael was able to replicate teleportation magic Rimuru has never been to anywhere in this world and therefore doesn't have anywhere to teleport to. So what did he do? Well it is pretty simple, he had Raphael cast a bright light and ran away. It sounds pretty stupid but it worked perfectly, since he was super fast anyway nobody was able to see him as he ran. The end.